Hey, what's going on? Muriel from the Sunshine Family. And if you're looking for information about Samara Costa Rica, you came to the right video because this video is all about my three day field trip that I did with my 13 year old son to Samara. Although we live on the Nicoya Peninsula here in Costa Rica, we do love to travel through Costa Rica and explore other places than we live. And Samara really, really grabbed my heart. So if you watch my video to the end, you can see all the impressions that I um, did my best to, uh, to capture on video. And I just pasted the whole thing, all little shots of every day and the activities that we did providing you a pretty good impression about the looks of Samra, but of course it's always best to explore yourself. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is a warm welcome and an invite to do so. Tap that little icon you see here somewhere on the screen, tap the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Really stay tuned to the end because you will laugh out loud, some funny things happened as well. So here we go. A shuttle so I didn't have to drive myself no thinking easy and it was a lot of fun about 50 bucks per person And everywhere you can easily rent a surfboard or a stand-up paddleboard or even kayak. So there's plenty of beach activities or just hang up a hammock and do a little nap. And uh, there's lots of people just picnicking and chilling in the shade, as you can see. There are several nice, relaxed beach restaurants to check out and to have lovely meals. Or ice cream. <laughs> So compared to the ocean in Montezuma and Santa Teresa, there are way more young children swimming in the ocean here because obviously the ocean is way calmer here, which can be a big benefit if you are traveling with young children. We 
We found our hotel at booking.com and we noticed that there's plenty of choice of accommodations right in the center, really close to the beach. So if you don't have your own transportation, it's easy just to walk within five minutes to the town center or to the beach, which we did every single day. What we also noticed is that there's way less traffic than the crazy busy town in Santa Teresa and even Montezuma. Uh, it's really, really laid back. And that is what we liked a lot. This is a French tapa wine bar close to our hotel. And we also found out there are a lot of French people and also Italian people in this small, cute town. Oh, this is the next day where we did our very first tour, a kayak tour. We were just picked up in front of the hotel to be brought to the destination where our kayaks will be waiting. It's very, very easy to just book your tours at the spot in the small town center or perhaps even at your hotel. Uh, there's lots of possibilities um, from quad riding, kayaking, horseback riding and way, way more. Go check it out yourself. You will have lots of fun. We did a combination of kayaking to the small island in front of Samra and uh, snorkeling. There's my son <laughs> checking out the paddles. <laughs> Lots of fun. Lots of sun as well. Really recommended to put on sunblock 50 or even higher. That kayak tour actually happens only at low tide. So check out the tides if you want to make um, specific planning. After the kayaking, we were checking out a place to have a bite on the beach, preferably. And Nick always finds animals to hug on his way. So video and images say more than a thousand words, right?
what we notice right away is that it's quite safe to walk here um, and that it's not like messy like in Santa Teresa or Montezuma where cars and, and people walking have to share the same roads. It's actually really really pleasant to be here, no dust and a cute town center close by the ocean where people are chilling and sitting and chatting as you can see. I think it has a really family friendly and in general friendly atmosphere. And um, yeah, we chose this hotel because it has a pool, but also a pool table. So we played a lot of pool games um, in between activities and going back and forth from the hotel to the town center to the beach. Yep, really nice. We bought some souvenirs, which are everywhere to find. And personally, I don't think Samra is really, really expensive uh, compared to Kepos, uh, Manuel Antonio, and Santa Teresa. I think the prices are lower here. Our final tour in our mini vacation was a horseback ride tour, which started in this other small town. Um, first alongside of the road, a small piece. That's where we hit to the right and uh, went through a beautiful, beautiful area to, well, keep watching and you will see it for yourself. The beauty of this tour is that the time of the day, um, thanks to that, we heard a lot of crockets, but also howler monkeys. We even saw a couple of howler monkeys. It was a really relaxed and pleasant ride, I think for all levels. Um, basically just sit on the horse and be guided through the beautiful area, as you can see.
and we reached our destination the beach to ride at sunset and that gives a really special feeling look how beautiful all the colors are And as you can see, no high buildings or big hotels um, alongside of the beaches, which makes it very authentic. I love that. I hope that you liked my impressions of Samara. Please leave your comments and replies below my video and see you in the next upcoming video. Ciao from Nick and Muriel from the Sunshine Family.